Today we can see how to make a dual 3 axis robotic arm. It is wireless, powered by Arduino and controlled using servo motors. The robotic arm is controlled by a transmitter which has 8 potentiometers in accordance to the 8 servo motors in the robotic arm. Here we are using 10k potentiometers since 10k potentiometers gives higher accuracy with Arduino. The brain of the transmitter unit is the Arduino Mega. The output pins of the potentiometers needed to be connected to the analog input pins. Here we have 8 potentiometers, hence Arduino Uno cannot be used here, since it has only 6 analog input pins. Arduino Mega has 16 analog input pins and at most 16 potentiometers can be attached to it. Here we are using NRF24 LO1 transceiver for the wireless communication. It can act as radio transmitter or receiver according to the program. It supports bidirectional communication. That is, a single NRF24 LO1 module can act as transmitter and receiver at the same time. The input voltage of the NRF module is 3.3 volt. We can directly connect it to the 3.3 volt pin of the Arduino. But the 3.3 volt pin of the Arduino does not deliver the desired current for the module. Hence, it is better to use the base module for it. The base module is just a 3.3 volt regulator which accepts 5 volt as input and gives 3.3 volt as output. The frame is made out of plywood. You can see a LCD screen here. Now it has no use. It may be used in the future. Moving to the robotic arm part. The base of the robotic arm is made out of plywood and a 10 inch PVC pipe is used to cover the electronic component. The plywood plates are separated by 5 cm metal spacers. Here also Arduino Mega is the controller. The NRF24 LO1 module in the robotic arm acts as the receiver and the NRF module in the transmitter unit acts as the transmitter. The position of the robotic arm is controlled by the servo motor. Here we have 4 moving parts, each arm, hence 4 servo motors. The movement of the base is controlled by MG996R high torque servo motor. The first joint also contains the same MG996R servo motor. These are medium capacity servos that can handle considerable weights. MG95 metal gear micro servo motor is used in the second joint. The gripper part uses a SG90 plastic gear servo motor. The input to the servo motors is 5 volt, but they need a huge current for their working. Hence it cannot be powered by the Arduino's 5 volt pin. Hence I have used a separate 2 cell 18650 lithium ion battery with 7805 voltage regulator to provide a constant 5 volt output from the battery. The transmitter measures the resistance change in the potentiometer and sends the data wirelessly using NRF module. The NRF module in the receiver section receives the potentiometer data and sends it to Arduino Mega. The Arduino Mega sends control signal to the servo motor to change its position according to the position of the potentiometer. Here each potentiometer is paired to a servo motor so that the rotation in that particular potentiometer makes the corresponding servo motor move. The circuit diagram of the transmitter part is shown on the screen. Here the output pins of the potentiometers are connected to the analog pins A0 to A7 of the Arduino Mega. The 5 volt pin of the NRF base module is connected to the 5 volt pin of the Arduino, ground to the ground, CE to pin 7 and CSN to pin 8. SCK to pin 52, MISA to pin 51, MISO to pin 50. In the receiver port, the connection of NRF24 LO1 module with the Arduino is similar to that of the transmitter. The signal pins of the servo motor is connected to the digital pins 3 to 11. You can connect them to other digital pins also, but you have to change the program in accordance to that. Here we need to include three libraries, SPI, RF24 and NRF24 LO1. Here we have declared the unlock pins A0 to A7 as part pin 1 to part pin 8. The number 8 represents the number of data to be transmitted. Here we are using 8 potentiometers, hence the number of data to be transmitted is 8. Here we have specified the CE and CSN pins of the NRF module. The CE pin is connected to pin 7 and CSN is connected to pin 8 of the Arduino. Then we have specified the pipe. The receiver program needs one more library, servo.h, for server control. Here we have declared the servos as servo1 to servo8. 
then the ce and the csn pins are also declared in the void setup we have mentioned the pins to which the servers are connected this radio dot begin statement starts the radio communication in the transmitter code we are sending data hence radio dot open writing pipe in the receiving part we are receiving data hence radio dot open reading pipe the radio dot start listening statement continuously listen to the data here in the void loop the analog data of the potentiometer is measured and stored as variables then we are mapping the value with respect to the reference values the data is then transmitted by the write statement the receiver continuously checks for the incoming data if the data is available it reads it and write it to the servo pins which in turn controls the position of the servo motor in accordance to the data